A number of you have been asking me, Belinda, what textbooks were you using throughout, you know, the first time you did the access course. And this is definitely one of the textbooks. I purchased this book. This is the medical school interview book. I like to stay organized with colors. When I learn, I learn with colors. So if you've heard that technique of learning with colors. <music> Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me once again back onto my channel. My name is Belinda and if you've not already subscribed, don't forget to press the subscribe button as well as turn on your notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload. So today guys, I have got a sort of a haul for you guys. Um, because as some of you may know that I'm starting the access course to medicine in a couple of weeks time, two weeks to say the least. And I've just bought a couple of things that I might need for the course, obviously basic things as well as textbooks, okay? A number of you have been asking me, Belinda, what textbooks were you using um, throughout, you know, the first time you did the access course. Some of the textbooks that I use, mainly biology textbooks, which I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. As well, I'm gonna show you guys some of the new textbooks as well I've just recently purchased. So I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I bought. This is gonna be quite a short video, guys, because there's not much really to talk about but I just thought for the sake of you know obviously showing you guys some textbooks I thought you know what I might as well turn this into a haul so without further ado if you are interested please keep on watching so like I was saying in my introduction I am starting the access course to medicine in two weeks time I made a full video on that I'll leave it somewhere up here as well as down in the description box below and during our one week intensive course like I did mention in that video they did specify to us certain textbooks that we might need okay however there's other textbooks that I will be using throughout the access course to medicine because those textbooks I used them in my very first time that I did the access course as well as through nursing school I used them as well so this is basically just me carrying them over okay so first things first guys i did purchase quite a number of notebooks i'm very very um picky when it comes to notebooks okay um because i want a notebook that's du durable durable is that a word that lasts longer you know so i purchased these notebooks they're really the same notebooks but they are more of a hard cover if that makes any sense when doing the access course guys we have three main subjects which is chemistry biology as well as physics okay and i'm that type of person when i'm taking notes um say for instance we've got a physics class when i'm taking notes i don't want to be writing physics notes in a biology notebook if that makes any sense i like to have one notebook for each subject that way I just stay organized, that way I know what I'm doing and that way when I'm studying it makes sense or when I'm doing revision it makes sense rather than one page is physics, one page is biology and then you know continuation. That's just too much for me. So I purchased a three plus five, so eight books that I've purchased um, because I don't know how much content we're going to cover throughout the nine months. So. This will definitely last me throughout the whole nine months. I don't believe I'll be getting any other um, notebooks anytime soon. And then I also purchased this. Um, I believe this is like a foldable desk file um, rack. Okay, so if you guys can see that. All right, I purchased a number of files. All right, now guys, I should actually say where I got these things from. So the notebooks, I purchased them from Amazon. I could have gotten them in Home Bargains or Poundland or however, but like I said to you guys, I'm very specific when it comes to notebooks. So I did purchase them from Amazon. I believe they cost me like £14.99 for the five and £9.99 for the three. So, but I'll leave that down in the description box below. And the foldable disk file organizer thingy I purchased off Amazon as well, all right? Just because that's where I found it. I couldn't find it anywhere else. And next, guys, I purchased a number of folders, all right? I purchased four folders, guys. Once again, one for biology, one for physics, one for chemistry, and then another one for study skills. So each one has their own, you know, place where I can stay organized. I feel like it's very, very important to stay organized. I remember when I did the access course, I did the same thing as well. My first year and second year of nursing, I also did, I had folders for each, you know, module. However, in my third year, it was just like, 
you know whatever it is what it is <laughs> so yeah that's what i purchased as well these folders guys i purchased them from home bargains um i believe they were only a pound so very very affordable and really like if you guys can see very decorative so yeah next guys i purchased a weekly planner weekly planner helps me to stay on top of what i need to do it's very easy to forget something it's very easy to get distracted from something okay so if you are making use of a weekly planner and you can put it up on the board and you can write what your plans are weekly i remember i did this for my first access course as well and throughout my whole nursing i had a weekly planner so every sunday i would literally sit down write what are the plans for the week what i have to do if i'm working so for example with the access course to medicine we are received our timetable so my timetable goes like this. monday tuesday wednesday i already know that you know what um i've got classes from nine o'clock all the way till half past three sometimes four o'clock it depends then on a wednesday evening from six o'clock I've got to go to my GCC English classes. So I'm also going to be incorporating that as well on this planner. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I am free. Okay, so most likely on Saturdays and Sundays I will be working. It all depends on how much my workload is. But I'm going to do another video for you guys in regards to obviously obtaining a new job. I did mention in my other video that I did get a job in a general hospital. Um, signed the contract did my dbs check however at that point in time i was not too sure whether i'm going to continue to study or not but now that i'm continuing to study i can't do that job anymore because that is contracted so i needed something more flexible but don't worry guys i'll give you the tea on that as well hence it's very important for me to have planner and once again this planner as you guys can see i've also purchased this from home bargains i believe it cost me one pound as well next guys is the academic diary um 2021 to 2022 i like to have diaries guys just to make notes as well as monitoring what deadlines i have it's very important sometimes you get quite a lot of assignments especially now that i'm going to be doing the access course to medicine that is quite a lot of assignment that we're going to have obviously overlapping each other so i really need to know whether i'm coming or going because the last thing i want to do is to think okay i've got a date in my head and then that's not the date some people will say what's the point of having an academic diary and what's the point of having a planner a plan is just knowing what you're doing when you're doing it okay an academic diary is more of knowing what deadlines uh, when are things due if you've got appointments blah 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 anything like that in the diary okay so if any of you really want to know where i got my things from they are from home bargain so so far that's what i have purchased in addition to that i did purchase pocket files guys because you can never go wrong with pocket um pocket is it pocket files yes that's it pocket files because i'm going to be printing out quite a lot of stuff i'm that type of person if i have an assignment on something i like to print up quite a lot of research so i need to keep them organized and keep them in this file all right so that goes hand in hand with my um folders i also purchased these pens guys these are very pens if some of you may know i am in love with these pens because the way that they write okay they just i've used these pens throughout my whole like literally for the last five years i've used these pens it might sound ridiculous but for me i, I like to stay organized with colors pens as well as highlighters you know that way when i learn i learn with colors so if you've had that technique of learning with colors the thing that you guys have all been waiting for is the textbooks in regards to books guys i purchased quite a number of books as i'm going to be doing physics chemistry biology as well as gcsc english and in between of that i'm also going to be applying for obviously medical school so i purchased quite a number of textbooks some of these books are old books okay because i used them from the very first time i did the access course and i also basically use them throughout my nursing okay some of them are new some of them are old so a bit of both first things first i purchased this book this is the medical school interview book second edition um there's over 150 questions analyzed as well as multi mini interviews okay this is basically 
once I get onto the medical course, this is the book I'll be using to prepare myself for interview. So this book is really handy to have. Um, I did go through it, but not as much in detail as yet because obviously the time has not arrived yet for interviews. So that's what I'm gonna be using for that. And then I also got the Get Into Medical School 700 BMAT. So for those who don't know, I'm gonna be sitting the UK CAT as well as the BMAT. So the BMAT is a different medical school admission test to the UK CAT. So in the UK, I believe we've got the BMAT, the UK CAT, as well as the GAMSAT. So those are the three admissions tests that we have here in the UK for medical school, okay? GAMSAT is mainly for graduate entry, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. However the UK CAT is the most most common exam and then the BMAT so I'm going to be writing the BMAT mainly because one of the medical schools that I want to get into is a BMAT admissions test requirement I believe I've got my BMAT exam on the 3rd of November this year so I will study for this when the time comes okay. then for the chemistry guys once again guys all of these textbooks I did purchase them off Amazon so guys also i want to say that you can get these textbooks second hand if you want anyway i am having the chemistry book at the minute this is the chemistry book that was recommended to us to purchase it's an aqa chemistry second second edition a level book or textbook rather so this was quite clear i must say i, I believe it cost me like 44 pounds to purchase but it's got literally everything i like skimmed read it and it contains everything everything that it has to contain for chemistry so definitely this book is a good book to have and once again guys this is a qa approved now one of my oldies this is a you can use you can still see that <laughs> so one of the oldest is this biology textbook it's ocaras biology book this is the book basically that i used throughout my access course when i did nursing some of you asked me belinda what books did you use throughout your access course when you did nursing and this is definitely one of the textbooks for biology that i did use i did use psychology textbooks as well but I didn't include the psychology textbook because obviously doing the access course to medicine I'm not utilizing a psychology textbook so that is one of the textbooks if I find the link to all of these textbooks guys I'm gonna link them down in the description box below for you to go and have a look if you are interested okay. next I got the CGP GCSE English language and literature um, textbook because as some of you may know I am going to be doing GCSE English again so <clears throat> i purchased this textbook um, because when i had my interview she did write down a list of textbooks that she would recommend for us to get so i got this textbook um how much did this cost me i can't remember i will leave the link again to this textbook down in the description box below it's basically got everything that you need to know about english language as well as literature so very very important as well i will give you an update whether these books worked or they don't work but this is what they recommended i will tell you guys an update from my personal perspective whether it was of good use or not so in case you want to purchase them you might not want to waste your coins on purchasing them the ones that i can vouch for is the biology textbooks because i did use them when i did the access course to nursing as well as throughout my nursing degree up to this point and i'm going to be utilizing them again so the next textbook guys there's quite a number of textbooks but this is almost the last one and the next textbook is once again it is a physics exam board textbook a level course aqa approved as well so this is mainly for physics once again guys it covers basically everything so yeah and like I said to you guys, if you don't want to purchase textbooks, because I know some people say textbooks is a bit outdated, literally everything is online. You can buy them online and get them onto your desktop, you know, your laptop, wherever else. And yeah, this is going to help me for the physics content that we are basically going to be covering. And uh, the last book, guys, the last, last book, which has been an OG of mine, as you guys can see. <laughs> I've got a number of hacks. This is one of the biology textbooks, guys, that I wanted to tell you guys or show you guys that I've been using throughout my um, access course to nursing. Really, really helpful. So this biology textbook basically covers everything. The cell, basic unit of life, energetic supply and demand, getting the balance, and plants, environment, control systems, reproductive, and genetics, 
it really covers everything in detail so this is another book that i will be using when we cover biology topics so the only new textbooks i purchased is gcc english physics as well as chemistry and i also purchased obviously medical school exams as well as interview books however the biology textbooks guys both biology textbooks is what i've been utilizing rather throughout my first time i did the access course to nursing as well as throughout my nursing obviously up to, to this up to this point as well as now that i'm going to do the access course to medicine so i've been utilizing all of these as well guys this is basically all that i'm going to be covering like i said to you guys it's not going to be <clears throat> a long haul it's just basic haul really so these textbooks guys i will link that textbook down in the description box as well if that may be of any use so i hope this video was helpful and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will hopefully 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 see you guys in my next video bye